Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, better than I'm sure a lot of people are right now. Um, before we get into this, I would just like to throw out a very quick warning. In this video, I'm going to be talking about suicide and transphobia. If you're familiar with the situation, you know why. Um, if you're not, feel free to stick around or not. If this is too heavy for you, I get if it is going to be too heavy for you, which is why I'm going to go ahead and throw out that warning. Recently, someone who I knew um, by the name of Eden Knight uh, took her own life. And I would like to make this video to both address the circumstances surrounding her death um, and also I, I suppose in a way to honor her in the best way I can think of doing right now because I just found out yesterday along with the rest of everyone who found out that day too. Eden was Eden Eden was a trans woman from Saudi Arabia who had lived in the United States um, for a period of time became a pretty big part of the spaces that I and many others um, engage in in the on the internet in particularly in particular on Twitter and there she made many friends um she communicated with many people I did not talk to her enough to be able to feel comfortable calling myself one of her friends but I interacted with her she helped me through a lot of my own stuff um if I'm remembering correctly, <clears throat> this is a couple of months ago, so my mind might be a little hazy, especially considering the stress of the situation, but I'm sure I was in a couple of group chats with her, um, I'm, if I'm remembering properly. And overall, all of the interactions I had with her were positive. She was funny, smart, insightful, deeply helpful, just an all-around good person, um, who had her own struggles being a trans woman from a very, very anti-queer country, trying to get through her life in the United States. A few months ago, she was contacted by people who said that they would be able to mend her relationship to her parents. These people, these monsters, were paid off by her parents to try to lure her back to Saudi Arabia. And unfortunately, they were successful. They made her financially dependent on them, isolated her from her institutions of support that she had built up in real life, made her financially dependent on them, and forced her into a, a rock and a hard place because she was here undocumented and effectively either she was going to go back to Saudi Arabia on their terms or she was going to be deported if she did not comply with them. Upon returning 
to Saudi Arabia and being forced to detransition. Life was difficult for her and she made the decision to take her own life. I, as I stated earlier, I didn't necessarily have as many interactions with Eden as other people did. But over the course of months, looking back, a lot of us were concerned about her and her safety. Um, she deactivated her Twitter a lot, which was most likely forced on her by these people who forced her back into that situation. So many people were left in the dark. And while I wish we could have helped her, regret is not guilt, I should say, is not a healthy thing to mire ourselves in. What we need to focus on now, what I hope we can focus on, is bringing as many people who caused her death to justice. We need to expose the companies and the people, this private investigating corps, who sacrificed the life of a great person for financial gain. We need to call out the institutions that make it impossible for someone, or at least nearly impossible for someone in this nation, to declare and seek asylum for persecution based on sexuality and gender identity. We need to ruin the people who did this to her. We need to make sure that they will forever be associated with murdering a woman. And we need to be pointed in the way that we do this. In the description of this video, I'm going to include a document from Merrick. Um, many of you people should know her. Um, which outlines the general story of what happened to Solaria and the evidence within, which is going to be added soon. Um, Solaria was one of the names that she went on, that she went by on Twitter as well. Um, I'm going to include that document below in a tweet. Please retweet that. Spread it as far and wide as humanly possible. We need as many people as possible to see this and to hear Eden's story so that the people who did this to her will never again be able to seek employment will never again be able to use their company to to destroy someone's life like this to make sure that no one can ever be heard like this again I hope, I hope wherever Eden is now, that she's resting easy. And 
I suppose before we all go, I would just like to tell you all that you are all loved and you are all cared about. And that even if things seem impossible, you can pull through. You can. I'm also going to leave some mental health crisis resources in the description. There's no shame in seeking help. You aren't alone. And once again, I implore you all to retweet the document that I'm going to put below, below in the description. These people need to be known. Eden's story needs to be known. Don't let her memory be in vain, please. Please. I hope y'all have a good one.